Three days of continual record-breaking heat. June 26th through the 28th, high temperatures range from 108 degrees to 116. 62 people in Multnomah County died from heat-related illnesses. That's more than all of the state of Oregon in the last 20 years. It was a wake-up call. Multnomah County officials released the 25-page after-action report on Tuesday. The preliminary findings detailed missteps the county made and ways they plan to improve. Even with weeks of planning, the report states the need for cooling centers overwhelmed the county's planned response. During a typical heat wave, the county says around 50 people use all the cooling centers. But during the June heat wave, 1,400 people stayed overnight at the three large cooling centers. The county admits cooling centers don't work for everyone and in the subsequent heat waves opened additional centers. We looked at where the heat islands are in our community and wanted to make sure that we had locations near there. Um, so people weren't having to um, get transportation to get a ride way across town that they had something close to their to where they live. The report says future actions will include increasing the amount of cooling centers, increase the volunteer and staff pool to run those centers and develop ways to increase safety for those that stay at home without cooler air. And we're working closely with our uh, members of the Oregon delegation, um, our state representatives to look at removing barriers to allow people to have air conditioning units in their um, apartment buildings. The report also highlights the massive outreach as well to keep people safe. Nearly 100 outreach teams distributed more than 67,000 water bottles, 14,000 cooling towels, 8,000 bottles of sunscreen, among other items. I would like to think that our efforts that weekend uh, helped many people, may have saved lives, um, but I just want to say that there is no comparison uh, for that particular response. Going forward, Multnomah County says that they'll activate the cooling centers at the first sign of extreme heat. They recently activated their public alert system, sending out mobile phone alerts and text messages. And they also want to make sure that 211 will have enough resources going forward to make sure that they can meet the overwhelming demand for information. I'm Devin Haskins, KGW News.